Hello people of YouTube, Rich from PC Games in here, I'm joined by Ali. Hiya. And Sea of Thieves is out today, so we're going to give you a quick roundup of what's been going on in the game at launch. So as ever, when we have the launch of a big multiplayer game, we're concerned about um, technical performance and especially on the server side, have people been able to get in? For the most part, yes. Um, there were a few issues in North America last night as the game launched around midnight for um, Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. Um, but they appeared to be largely fixed by 4am, despite the massive influx. I didn't have any problem getting in myself, right. um, and we had no problems at lunch. It's been yeah, very smooth. Um, a few people found that they could kind of fast forward, as it were. Um, Australia and New Zealand had access right. first. So if you swapped your Xbox Live account to the Australian New Zealand servers, you obviously have a, a more laggy game, mm -hmm. but you can actually get in. So I, quite, I think quite a few people are doing that. We don't have numbers because it'll swap back now as well. Okay. Uh, but there are a lot of people on the Reddits talking about how this was a, a potential way in. Right. And uh, from another, the, the other technical question, I suppose, this has to be a day one patch, anything that players will have to download? Well, it has been a day one patch, um, which is often bad news. Mm. Uh, but this isn't, isn't exactly what you expect from a day one patch, because it is literally a day one patch. It yeah. is uh, a black eye patch with the number one written on it. You can buy it in clothing stores in-game, and it's just called Day One Patch. So it's a nice little Easter egg kind of thing there from Rare. I do enjoy it. It's quite yeah. funny. It's, 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 it's very rare sense of humor as well. Yes. It, gives you, it gives you an idea of what what it's like to play the game, really. Like yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's designed to create those kind of silly moments and, mm -hmm. and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that's sort of a nice point at which to you know talk about what's what exactly has been going on in the game, and you know because you know, I, I wondered this myself. Like, what exactly do you do in the Sea of Thieves? Well, we're quite we're quite early in. Um, so three of us played last night. Um, three of three of the PC Games N team. Um, four of us played at lunchtime. We're still kind of reasonably early on. We're doing kind of the lower level quests. Mm -hmm. uh, myself and Matt went on a treasure hunt yesterday, uh, but then we were interrupted by Jordan, so <laughs> we had to we had to give that up. Um, for the most part, it's it's relatively simple. It's fetch quests, but you make your own fun to some extent. We found ourselves at a skeleton fort, failed horribly to to take it over, um, <laughs> bailed out, and then spent a while with Harry knocking back pints of grog and then being fired out of cannons with obviously messy results. Yeah. So it is a game where you kind of you go in and you make your own fun, and there are there are ways to progress. And I imagine that Rare will be pushing those ways to progress further and further over time. Sure. They have said they're not giving us a roadmap, so it's a bit difficult to, to know for sure, um, because they want to show you the changes and they want to react to player feedback and stuff like that, which they've been doing already. And what else has been going on in uh, day one the players have found so far? Well, uh, players have been defeating the Kraken. We've known that the Kraken's there for quite a long time, yeah. um, but the Kraken has been vanquished and players have been kind of sharing the fact that They've been sharing a bit about the, the the battle itself. They've been sharing the achievements they've got for that. Mm -hmm. um, they've been sharing loot from their skeleton forts and sunken uh, sunken ships and stuff like that. Um, so people have been kind of, of pushing it quite a lot. I think there's there's still quite a lot to come, and I think a lot of people will find that it's going to take a while to get up to kind of the legendary pirate level where you're unlocking the most interesting new stuff. Right. Um, but I think the community is uh, largely enjoying it. And uh, there's been evidence of that on on. Twitch and, and YouTube and things like that. Um, how's it been performing? Yeah, it's, it's doing very well on Twitch specifically, and we kind of knew this would happen because during the beta test and the stress test, they were already done. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of hype and a lot of buzz around. That yeah, sort of time, at, wasn't there? at the moment, it's the second most streamed game on Twitch oh, wow. kind of, as of right now, and that's just behind League of Legends and ahead of Fortnite, which is quite incredible because that's quite that's, that's yeah. where everybody is at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's it's proving popular at this point. All right, well, that's encouraging, I suppose. Um, sea of Thieves Day 1, uh, that's how it's going. Are you go Are you interested? Are you playing? Uh, let us know in the comments. Let us know if you found anything worth sharing. Uh, in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for plenty more PC gaming content, and we'll see you next time. Take care.